of Feature Deep Dive. In today's episode, we are going to see one feature of OneNote which is very useful but commonly unknown. Very often we get uh, scanned documents or documents where you can't copy paste the text and then you want that text to be copied somehow and that's where typically an OCR kind of software is required. If you have a scanner attached to your machine that comes with some kind of OCR software but everyone doesn't have a scanner attached. So what do we do? Fortunately OneNote has been having this feature so let's see an example of this. So I'm going to show you a PDF file which is basically some kind of contract and this contract is a typical stamp paper based contract. It is scanned, signed, sealed, done. Now let's say I need this contract to be signed with someone else but the original text of the contract didn't come from me. That was the other party's lawyer and I need that text. What do I do? That's scenario number one. I have to retype the whole thing. An even commoner scenario is I have a long scanned document and this one is three pages but you could have long contracts which can go into hundreds of pages. All scanned and now I want to search for a particular clause. How do I do that? Control F is not going to work because what is a scanned document? Every page is essentially a picture. So what does that leave me with? Scroll, scroll, scroll and read. So you know hands or brain. Hands used, brain not used means inefficient. So that's where OneNote comes into picture. So what is OneNote? Maybe some of you know, some of you don't know. So very quickly I will try to explain what OneNote really is. So OneNote is a note taking software. Just check if it is already installed on your machine. If not, OneNote is free for entire life. You don't need any kind of subscription to use OneNote. You go to OneNote.com. It will redirect to this page. Just sign in using a Microsoft ID and download it. It's available on all devices. It's available on desktop, Android, iOS. In fact, on desktop, it is available in two different versions. So if I search for OneNote, I get two types of OneNote. One is a desktop app, which is this. This is the desktop app. And I also have another app, which is a Windows 10 app. Now, why there are two kinds of apps? Let's not bother about that. Some features are there in desktop. Some features are there in the Windows 10 UWP app. So I would say install both. Now, what is OneNote? OneNote is just a collection of notebooks. So you start with different kinds of notebooks. You say file, new, create a notebook. Always create it on OneDrive. Why? Because OneNote app will sync with that. Once you do that, you have OneNote notebook. So this is a notebook. And uh, on the notebook, what do I have? On the notebook, within it, I have topics. You can create as many topics as you want. And within each topic, you can have as many pages as you want. So practically, you have unlimited supply of notepad, notepads or notebooks or diaries, whatever you want to call it. It's like an organizer diary. Physically, you're going to carry only one diary at a time. Here, you can carry as many as you need to manage your work. So the first thing is when you start using one note, create many notebooks logically, depending on what kind of work you do. Having done that, now let's come back to the scan document. So we have the scan document here and I don't want to search like this. Now how does PDF or any other application which has something which is a picture which contains text, I want to search for it. How do I do that? There can be hundreds of different applications. So what is the linkage between any application which has an image or images containing text and OneNote? OneNote can't integrate with unlimited applications. So there is one point of integration that is printing. So you go to file menu and choose print. When you choose print, you will get multiple options. I'm not talking about a physical attached printer. I'm talking about OneNote. So both of them will work either way. So I'm going to do it for OneNote desktop. 
Now, the moment you say print, what happens? The OneNote icon may blink and you may not notice what it is asking you. It's asking you, you have one multiple notebooks, which one do you want to put it in? That's what it is asking you. So what do you need to do? You need to choose a notebook. After you choose the notebook, what do you do? Just choosing the notebook is not enough. Each notebook has sections. So choose the correct section. Having done that, now what will happen? So when I click on the section and click OK, what happens? It actually prints it. So there were three pages there. We got all the three pages here. What is the big deal? What have we achieved so far? Nothing really because originally in the PDF it was an image and even now it's an image. What is the point? So the point is this. When you go here and search, what is search? Control E is search across notebooks and Control F is search within the current page. So the moment you type Control F, notice there are only three images on this page. So now I'm just going to type one character, just one character. I'm going to type the character S, for example. Notice it said, I found the text S in 100 pages, 100 instances rather. And it's saying, do you want to see? So where has it found it? Notice, what is it saying now? Shall, second, successor. So any word which starts with S, it has found it like S star, wildcard. Now, let me change this and put something more sensible. Obviously, you're not going to search for one character. So let's say agreement happens between parties. So I say party. No problem. It says the word party comes in 10 instances. So now suddenly what has happened in our life? Instead of scrolling hundreds of pages and manually searching for the clause, I am clicking on this button. It is going to take me to the next instance, whether it is two pages away or 100 pages away doesn't matter. Less effort, more impact means efficiency. So that's how this works. This is search. Now, this is good, but I want the text. Now you'll notice that this particular document is not very nicely scanned. There is a slant. You can see if I zoom in, there are some blotches. It is not a very good quality scan. So will it work? Yes, it does work. So if I go and try to find the text, how do I find it? So for those who have been seeing my videos and my methodology, you will know that if you need something, just assume it must be available. It is just a question of finding where it is. How do you find it? Simplest way is right click. Now, this could be one page, this could be 100 pages, we don't know. So even if in the right click menu, there was an option called find text, do you really expect me to go right click one page, copy text, paste it, right click second page, copy paste? No, that's obviously inefficient. So what should we do in that case? What we should do is expect that this is a need. Even if it's a multi-page document, I don't want to right click or choose the option called copy text on a per page basis. So you have a need. And 100% the need is satisfied. So what do we have here? If you want, you can copy text from one page. But generally, what will you want to do? Let me see. I'm overlapping myself. Hold on. So right click. And then what do you see? Various options. Copy text from one page if you want it that way. Or copy text from all pages. It doesn't matter whether it is 2 or 200. Now, where did the text go? Obviously, it went to clipboard. Now, how do you paste it? You can paste it anywhere now that it is a part of clipboard. So let's go to Word and create a blank new document and try to paste it. Now, we are not interested really in the formatting, but actually, as you will see, this will give you nice stuff here. Fairly good. Some of them will be mistakes depending on the quality. And a lot of time and energy was saved in the process. That's how you get text from a document which is scanned. Now that looks like the topic is finished. No, that is a feature and you have understood the feature. You have seen one use case for it. Many people think now, yes, I know the topic. No, 
that is just the beginning this is one scenario which is very good and useful no doubt about that but is that the only scenario no not at all so let's see some additional scenarios where this can be useful so one common thing is when we have a OCR this is by the way called OCR technically and this OCR behind the scenes uses AI to do that this is not available on mobile so if you have to do something on mobile you will have to take the picture let it sync with the desktop and do it on the desktop now very often we have receipts and many times we have to enter receipts like this in expense software or something like that what do you do same thing receipt is a picture by the way it's not a PDF file which was sent as a printout. So this is an isolated independent picture. So now when you right click on a picture, what do you expect? Only one option because it's only single isolated picture. Copy text from picture. And having done that, let's see if we can paste the text here itself. And as you will see, it has done a fairly good job of finding what was there in the text. That's another scenario. One more scenario which was relevant when we were physically visiting each other is very often when we go to a customer, they would give you a Wi-Fi card and you quickly want to type that long thing, they can directly extract text from there. But that's not all. Think a little and tell me which other scenario in education space can be very useful. If you're smart enough and apply your mind, you will understand. If you think a little, you will get it eventually, but very often we do open book exams. So what happens if you really want to cheat, which is not something I would recommend, but I know people using this feature for that purpose. So practical good use people don't do and misuse is popular. So you can do that. Scan a book and search for it. But there is another thing which you may not know. Handwriting is also understood. So if you have a phone and you take notes using just finger scribble, that can also be converted to text. That's not a scanned document. So you can't right click on it and say copy text from picture because when you write using your finger or stylus, that's not an image. Technically, it's called ink. So if you have something like that, for example, these are notes I have taken using a stylus. Now, this is not a very great handwriting. I have just scribbled it randomly. Now, what do you do with it? So, if it is ink, you go to the draw tab and you will see ink to shape or ink to text, depending on what it is. So, that is another way in which this works. There is another way of doing it. I told you about scribble on the phone. So, if you are doing scribble on the phone, what happens? This is how it will look. This is not even using a stylus. I did it using my finger. So now just to keep this page, I'm going to copy paste it so that I have one copy. Now, what do I do? I lasso select it, right? Where is lasso select? Draw and lasso select. If you, Why is that important? If you just try to select it like this, it will not get selected properly. So lasso select is better. Now the ink to text option gets enabled. And now notice it has done a fairly good job. And as you use it more and more, it understands and improves its recognition capability. So that's that. Now, if any of you are developers, you may want to know how this is done behind the scenes. This is called Azure Cognitive Services Vision API. Where is that? If you go to Azure Cognitive Services, language support for computer vision and the OCR part which is built into Outlook is not just available for English it's available for multiple languages so if you right click on an image make text searchable by default it will give you three languages but there are I think 20 plus languages supported you have to install the language pack for that purpose so as of now from what I know no Indian language is currently supported. So that's how scan text can be converted to an image in OCR. Now let's try this with another more verbose kind of thing. So I have 
a long document now, seven page document, which is basically a PDF. Very often people protect the PDF and you don't have this. You can't bypass that protection by putting a password. Microsoft is not going to help you break Adobe password, but you can still print it and print it to what? Print it to OneNote, like I showed you earlier. One desktop, same process. It'll ask you the same question. And let's see if this works. So again, I'm going to put it in demo. So many pages got printed, right click, copy text from picture, and let's paste it in another document in Word. Now, what happened? It has obviously picked it up, but there is a problem here, why? Because you'll notice that employees are bringing, suddenly there is a break. Why? Because the line broke there. And that's why this was forced to put a line break, something like that. Now, how do you repair this? This is not a part of this topic, but just to complete the topic, I will show you. What did I just do? I clicked on this particular button. What does this button do? It shows or hides hidden characters. So what is it showing? This character, which looks, this is the enter key. This is the enter key. This is called soft enter or new line. And this PA-like thing is the actual new paragraph. So what is happening here? There is an enter key and paragraph, enter key and paragraph, something like that. So if you want to get rid of it, there is a way of doing that automatically. So let's see how that can be done. That's not really a one-note topic, but this is often a side effect of converting scanned text to Word. How do we do it? So find replace, control H find replace. Now what are we finding? How do I put this character and this character? They are coming together. I want to just remove them for the time being. So more, when you don't know something, click on more. And then we have some special characters here. So if you go to special characters, paragraph mark, there is a shortcut for that. This is paragraph mark, right? And there is another character called line break. What is line break? Where is line break gone? So there are so many special characters which we can actually find. So what is this? Caret sign V means new paragraph. And new line which is called manual line break is this. So actually the order is reverse. So I will cut this and put it here. So line break followed by paragraph break. And what do we want to replace it right now? Let's say for argument's sake, nothing. So this should work. I don't know why it's not working. So I probably control P. And now it has removed all of them. And that's how you repair badly formatted documents. Notice it has not removed all the paragraphs. The genuine paragraphs which are not associated with the line break are still there. So it didn't put all seven pages in one long paragraph. So if you now get rid of this hidden characters, this is exactly the way the document is. So that's how you use OneNote in a very effective manner to manage scanned text from a searching point of view, as well as to extract the text using built-in OCR. So that's it for this episode. See you next time. Thank you.